this has been my highest requested video of all time. Whether it's in the comments, whether it's in the DMs, and how many ways can I make this for you? So I decided we're gonna do it for the YouTube channel, okay? This is everything I do for my glutes, my ass cheeks, my bomb bitch cheeks. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna show you everything. I'm gonna show you every little intricate moment that I do that I think helps grow the tush, you know? Helps grow the tush, you know? Oopsie. You said, I want the shelf. So I'm gonna show you how I think it helps and how I grow it. And we're gonna start now. Jake, 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 Jake Jones. For me, a huge part of working and activating the glutes is the activation itself. So it's how you warm up those glutes, how you get them nice and toast. You wanna get them toasted up. So there are a couple high intensity workouts that I do to begin with as a warm up. I'm not gonna show you that today other than the Stairmaster, that's gonna be the only thing I show you. I'm then going to get into what I do as a whole stretch to just really get a lot of blood flow to my ash cheeks. I wanna get that blood flow to my ash cheeks and then I wanna work it out. Back up to me, then I wanna work it out. Now back down, then I wanna work it out. Back up to me, then I wanna work it out. Let me tell you something, Sila started off really at an angle with this one. She said, let's give some ass. And you're gonna see that all throughout. She was really focused and you know what? I'm just gonna show you what I do and this is through the lens of Sila. So first we're starting off with the Stairmaster. Yes, um, I do this on leg days. I know that seems like alert, but I think it's a great way to warm up the legs specifically. I do do this swiveling motion when I'm doing my first five minutes of warming up before I do my surges, which I will get into. So I'm really just doing normal steps. I keep my level at 10. You can keep your level at whatever, but I do swivel back and forth like this throughout, not the whole time, maybe 15 seconds each, 15 on, 15 to the side. Then I get into the last five minutes of my Stairmaster workout. I do 30 seconds normal steps and then 30 seconds of these back kicks. These kick ups, these flies, whatever you want to call them. And it really focuses on warming up the glutes for sure. I mean, you're literally doing pulses, just like fully extending your legs to do kind of leg flies for glutes anyway, which a lot of people do on the mats. Then after my five minutes of normal step warm up, my five minutes of surges, I will spend one minute just on each side warming up that hip abductor one last time. So one minute in this position while I'm talking to camera, I'm talking to Seal like she's my bestie. And then I will spend another minute switching right there. Okay, timing. Do you see the music getting all intimate too? On the other side, and that will be somewhat of my cool down because I'll do that at like an eight or a nine where the steps are slower. And then that's me on Stairmaster, baby. Then we get directly into stretching and I do a full body stretch, but this is my very last stretch on leg day and on back day, which is kind of an inclined plank as I'm tonguing the camera right there. Now I do three different planks. I hold each plank for a minute and I time it with my cellular telephone, my smartphone. I do a plank at normal shoulder distance and then I do my toes pointed outwards, somewhat of like a ballerina pose if you wanna call it that. I hold that bad boy at a minute, okay? So minute and a minute and a New York minute. And then look at my face. Look at that gorilla face. Look at how, look at me struggling just to stay up. Then I'll keep my knees together and my heels together and I'll do a minute there. I do four of these and I switch it up. I'll do one normal shoulder stance, one ballerina, one close in, and then probably one more normal stance. And then I'm getting up here to show you, look at how it warms up, this, it warms up the ass. And I'm not showing much ass in that, sadly. My very first workout after that, warming up and stretching, is doing weighted lunges. I got trace, baby, trace, you see it? Trace plates each side. Por Porque apparently I said, I like to get a little bit of a pad there for my shoulders because I'm sensitive, I'm a sensitive boy. And then look at me really struggle just to be like, oh my God. I usually start with eight lunges each side. I do kick my leg up just because I like the idea of having full independent weight on one side. 
I don't think you have to do that. I might have a superstition in my mind. It is what it is. Now, I love the Smith's machine for this because I'm really afraid of weights. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I'm really afraid of injuring myself and I never want those weights to just fall on me and I die. You know, and I'm also looking for hotties at the gym. Uh-oh. Oopsie, fixing my crotch. Apparently, you're gonna see that a bunch. Then, once I do four sets of that, I am going to go into four sets of hip thrusts. I'm gonna get a bench, and I'm gonna sit my fat, thick ass down on the bench, and I'm gonna do eight hip thrusts. At the end of that eight set, I'm gonna hold it up in the air for five to six seconds, like you will see in three two one you're seeing it now you're seeing me hold it up oh, that wasn't five to six seconds but you know in my mind maybe it was that i do four times so we're doing four sets of each workout you're seeing today don't forget this lastly on the smith's machine yes i take 20 minutes on the smith's machine that's why i go to a gym that has three so i'm not taking up too much time I like to do a deadlift, but I do a ballerina deadlift and I don't do much weight because like I said, I'm a little skirty Kurt. I'm a skirty Kurt. And I like to make sure I'm doing such a light weight to where my posture seems really, really nice. Like I don't want any risk of injuring my lower back at all. So I like to do a nice low weight. I like to do the ballerina squat movement because I do think it targets the outer ass cheek mixed with the hip abductor. And I think it gives your ass a lot of shape. I will say, I want you guys to try it. I want you to see what it's like when you're feeling warmed up because my cheeks are pretty big. Gotta be honest, my cheeks are pretty big and I think what I'm doing does help. Uh, there's some underwear, okay. <laughs> Um, I was wearing banana underwear. That's from me undies. I, I adore them. They make the freshest, most comfiest undies. And no, this isn't sponsored. I wish. These I usually do on back day, but I'm showing you glute oriented exercises today. So this is one thing I call a whale up. I call them whale ups. Whale, whale up. So for me, I'm at a point where I do two 45 plates and I do whale ups. And then I come up, I squeeze at the top. As you can see, I'm clenching those ass cheeks a ton. I do four of eight on that as well while I'm wearing a gold chain that gets stuck in my beard. And Sila's like, you need to get the gold chain off your beard. And I'm like, oopsie poopsie. And I walk around like thickums after each exercise. Don't be silly, don't be a silly goose. This is hip abductors. Some people don't believe that this helps. I think it helps so much, okay? So I do eight at different angles. So I'll do eight leaned back, normal posture in the chair, and then I'll do eight leaned forward, as you see right now, meaning 16 each set. I'll do 16 four times. So I'll do four sets of 16, if that makes sense. So eight at a different angle, eight scooted up, and then I'm here just feeling voluptuous in the cheeks, baby. Voluptuous, cut the camera's dead ass. Babies, we're at the end of showing you my most glute-oriented targeted workouts. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know if it works well for you. Like the video, shake your tits. I love you guys. Mwah. Thank <laughs> you.